back to another one of my videos so i'm actually starting it half appealing for once um so it's gonna be a get ready with me a life update just answering a few questions talking you through a few things have been going on why my videos haven't been so consistent and just getting ready to go out for dinner with matt's family for his brother and sister's birthday um which will be featured in a vlog coming either before or after this video so if you want to see how i got ready then carry on watching so we're gonna get started i've got my new i've absolutely annihilated the packaging but we've got my new no mark hair grips disney from primark i've done my brows i've done my eye base like to prime my eyes even i'm just going to use a little bit of powder it's nice to have all my makeup products with me because normally matt's like i've left things here and it's just all a bit of a bit of a nightmare um so we're going to do the classic eye look of course i'm just going to go onto instagram and see what we got so obviously the nature of this is a sort of like life update kind of thing because i haven't filmed one of these in a while and i thought the best way to kick start the series again so i am going out today this evening for matt's um brother and sister's birthday meal i'm wearing a new dress that i've got and a new necklace so we're just gonna vibe with it do some glam um so the first thing to start off with is probably an apology for not uploading consistently i did have a bit of a because i've switched i've changed jobs um i'm just going to go in with my elf palette which i don't know if they sell anymore um but yeah so i'm just going to go in with eyeshadow but yeah i haven't been very consistent at all because i've changed jobs i changed jobs middle of april i want to say um I, i've never been happier at work it's going really really well i've come back into the care industry which to be honest i think was coming for a little while i'd had sort of like thoughts in my mind and i missed it and i just yeah so i'm back in that line of work and i have as i said really really missed it and i'm really enjoying it i've got my foot back in now and it's just it's going really really well so work wise i couldn't be happier um but yeah so obviously i left my other job i'm not going to talk about it because it doesn't really matter it just wasn't the right thing for me that's the main thing and because of the like because i'm now back on to doing shift work videos will not be on a wednesday and a sunday necessarily if that's how my rotor works and that's how my rotor works i'm actually not gonna upload one tomorrow because i've uploaded one today i'm gonna upload it on sunday because i finished work at one um and then me and matt are going out and then taking the dogs to see my grandma and my mom and lim around my grandma's house because we haven't like my family is such dog lovers and obviously since our dog passed away quite a while ago now we haven't been able to obviously i haven't had a dog in the house and matt's got two so you know we thought it'd be the perfect opportunity and lynn and my family have wanted to meet the dogs for ages especially since we got the, they got matt's family got the new puppy so that's gonna be nice but yeah so life's been a bit kind of crazy you know going through that transition of changing jobs and then having to work out money and stuff and you know it's all just been a bit crazy um so yeah but i'm really happy work-wise career-wise it couldn't be going any better so yeah that's always a good thing um so yeah my videos hopefully i'm aiming to get two up a week if not one there'll definitely be one a week um but if you don't find my instagram i'll put it on the screen now um i update my story probably a bit too much but um you know and i'm trying to set alarms for when i say i'm gonna upload videos because otherwise i forget and then the video doesn't go up so yeah just bear with me on that one i'm getting back into it and i found my love again for filming because i kind of fell out of it when i was struggling with other stuff um so yeah but i'm back and happier than ever to be back so yeah i've lost my nars, my NARS duo and is old so we're just gonna have to work with what we've got um this is a studio brush my mum gave me um because i've lost my other brush in voyage from matt's but it's fine um have i lost my other brush as well oh i have of course i have why wouldn't i lose it so we're just going to go in with this spectrum brush which is a bit denser but never mind um but yeah so that's just the crack at the moment change jobs couldn't be happier about it in the end and yeah so consistency has not been great but it will be getting back up there so just bear with me and let me know in the comments any videos you would like to see right so we are going to put a pigment on of course um 
it wouldn't be me without pigment and i'm just going to clear up my eyes a little bit um so yeah but how have you guys been doing let me know in the comments um and thank you for your patience because i've had quite a few nice instagram messages about my channel and the fact that people have missed it and we're looking forward to me getting back to it so thank you for that it did give me more sort of like motivation to get me ass into gear so to speak um so yeah let's just tidy that up a bit Yeah, I think I found my glow, my purpose again. I find it such a rewarding job, obviously. Um, so yeah, I couldn't be happier when it comes to it. I just feel like I've got, you know, a sense of need, like I'm needed and I'm, you know, it's it's such a, as I said, rewarding job. And I, I just, I don't want to repeat myself too much, but I am really, really happy with it. So... I can't, it says LM, but I'm not sure what that means. I've used this a couple of times. It's absolutely beaut. Um, honestly, you guys need to check out the Urban Duchess if you have not already. Because I use her sponge. I've got a fresh one. Um, yeah, so. Um, but yeah, so I definitely think if you've been thinking about going into ca the care sector. And you think you've got what it takes then I would definitely go for it because it's such a rewarding job. I'm never going to look back. You know, it's definitely one that I think, you know, when it suits you and your kind of nature and your kind of person, like how you are as a person. And, you know, and like my family and Matt have noticed how much happier I am. And, you know, work is obviously such a big part of my life so i want to be able to wake up in the morning and look forward to it not only fallout which to be fair with these pigments oh, there's not as much fallout as like my um barry m ones that i previously used so you know if that speaks volumes and you know um where's that brush gone? i'm just gonna go in with the bronzy shade again just kind of to blend it through so it doesn't look too harsh okay i look nearly complete eyeliner of course a trusty one pound one from primark let's see how this goes today <laughs> so eyelashes are on they're a bit more dramatic than obviously the ones i was planning on i was planning on using the pl80 ones from hound lashes but i ended up using the super source from meggy lashes I'm actually kind of obsessed with them. So I've already prepped my skin. So I've got 15 minutes till Matt is going to be here. So I need to be super, super quick. But yeah, standard. And this is like the mess of my foundation. I know 100% why it was on offer. But it's too good for me to throw away because the packaging's shit. Because it honestly makes my skin look amazing like but yeah so that's that um one of the other questions was do you so see yourself getting engaged how are you and matt me and matt are the best we've ever been um honestly despite my mental health being in tatters at the moment me and matt are the best we've ever been oh my god um oh, really hurt. um so yeah and yeah a hundred percent he has dropped some hints uh which makes you girl very excited um you know and i feel very fortunate to have found someone when i'm like still young you know so yeah um the idea of being engaged scares the heck out of me not really bad reasons but you just think bloody hell that is a um big old life commitment tints as i've said he will do it when he's ready um but yeah of course it excites me because when the person you love more than anyone on the planet on the planet sorry wants to propose to you wants to make that big lifelong commitment it does mean uh summon summon you know 
and it's just the next step in a relationship and i don't think people go oh you're quite young and i've seen quite a few young people that have got engaged young like the comments they've got and i'm just like don't get me wrong like if you had told me three four years ago that i would potentially get engaged at 21 22 because that's what i'll be if his hints are accurate <laughs> um then you know i would have come now no 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 too young but i'm bettering myself in my career now i'm feeling more secure and more kind of like you know so whenever the time's right it doesn't matter in my opinion age is just a number didn't realize what the time was you know when you're just chilling like vibing to music whilst you're doing some of your makeup and then you're like oh crap the time um i'm gonna use this sponge because i had to throw my other one out the one by uh um, Duchess, because it was rank. This is the Meggie Lashes DJ blender. It was like in tribute to her little boy when he was born. And I do find her blenders are more durable the more you use them. But oh. mm. I don't know. It's just very hard to work with. I haven't got much of a choice. So yeah, but I do. It's not my. I prefer the Urban Duchess one. I'm going to be honest for this one, but it will do for what it's here for. I'm just going to add a bit more coverage to my cheeks and my forehead. And my chin because when i'm wearing a mask obviously for 12 hours well on and off obviously i have my breaks but you know where i'm wearing a mask a lot more now my skin is adjusting to that and not liking it um which is its sign when it tells me because i have loads of spots appear around my mouth and around my chin obviously because that's where the mask is but it's fine it's just all good vibes really when it comes to that and friendships are really good because i literally just associate myself with a few people outside my really close circle and then just my close circle which makes my life a hell of a lot easier a lot less complicated hardly any drama and that's just how i like to live my life now i've got to be honest with you because the drama is just too much like at the age of 21 nearly like i don't want to be surrounding myself with that so like i've tried to with changing jobs i've kind of like sorted my priorities out a bit just a dusting of powder you know, I've sorted out what I find is important and what I want to work on and kind of being a bit more careful with how I'm spending my time and whom I'm spending it with. Brooke asked, how have you been feeling recently towards your anxiety? Well, <laughs> obviously I don't have, oh, I don't have that long, <laughs> but I'll keep it brief. Not great. As I said, work-wise, absolutely fine i'm on my tablets as well which have been seeming to make a difference and my anxiety stem from past trauma so yeah um and i went into town today very briefly and my legs started going i felt so anxious and i've come to the conclusion until i've completely worked on myself until i've got my therapy officially sorted and started and which isn't hopefully going to be long you know i'm not gonna be going into town on my own which may sound silly to some people but for me i want to enjoy when i go into town otherwise i'm never going to want to go there ever again and i'm struggling with town right now yeah i'm i'm doing something about it i'm not just sitting on it like i have done for the last god knows how many years but if you are doing what i did sitting on it i'm not judging you at all because it takes a lot to be able to speak out um so do it in your own time but pl i promise you you will feel a million a million times better like literally a million um because i feel so much better for doing so and it took a lot and it brought up a lot of things that was in my past but you know you've got to delve through i saw this thing on tiktok where it had all these um scratched up pieces of paper in a bin showing you obviously like your traumas your past and everything like that that's affecting your life and it said if you unravel them and then work through them slowly, you could fold them up, put them back in your mind, but not where it's overflowing, where it's not overwhelming. I actually found that very... Oh, I'm loving my skin today. Oh, 
yeah i like my makeup today it's not really coming off on camera but i'm liking it but yeah so we're going out for dinner tonight which will be nice celebrate matt's sister's birthday and his brother because they're twins I like this um, fan brush from, Revol uh, from Real Techniques because where it's a kind of a stippling kind of effect one, I don't know how to describe it, it gets on my brow bone perfectly. Favourite highlighter combo. There we go. And then a little bit in me in the corner, of course, myself, and I'm in a place that I wasn't in, say, a year ago. So that's an improvement in itself, you know. But there's always struggles. And people that suffer with anxiety and depression, they'll know exactly what I mean. Kind of. I don't strain it perfectly. The only person that can strain it perfectly for me is either Alex or someone that's doing it for me. Because they can get right everywhere. But I've done my best. I've done what I can. Um, Accessory-wise, I've got all my um, rings on. So in case you wanted to know... Um, Mickey Mouse from Pandora from Matt. I've got Pandora ring that my grandma gifted me and a like wishbone one on top of that, both from Pandora. Crown ring from Pandora. My promise ring from Dreamy London that was from Matt. It looks borderline like a engagement ring, but we move. It's not gonna focus, but you know. I've got a Minnie Mouse from Matt and Infinity ring from Matt as well. Pretty much, well, all my rings are Pandora except my Dreamy London one. Um, then I've just got these kind of like, cheapy bracelets from Primark and you know what I'm gonna be ready just in time um which is a miracle so yeah just these cheapy kind of glitzy kind of bracelets from Primark put them all on the same wrist I'll get my mum to help me with that um new necklace from Essential is like a layered one which I really like pretty little thing dress that I got gifted um by someone but yeah so that is the finished look um, I'm just going to wear trainers, which I know sounds awful. Favourite bag at the moment from Primark. They've got some amazing dupes for expensive ones in there at the moment. So definitely go check Primark out for handbags. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much that. And um, Brooke also asked just quickly to finish this, get ready with me off. How do you feel about marriage? Is it something you really want to do or not? So links to the engagement um, from Nancy. Um, I, marriage is definitely 100% something that I would like to do. I know it's not for everyone, but for me... Yes, I don't think you have to get married to be in a committed relationship at all, but it does mean a lot to me and it's something that I would love to do. So, yeah, I love these bracelets, they look really cute. So, yeah, that's that. Um, I'm working on myself, going to be more consistent with my channel and my content. Um, so, just keep your eyes peeled and please let me know any videos you want to see in the comments, either that with friends, my boyfriend, my family, or just myself. Let me know. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm going to stop rambling because I've really got to go. Um, so don't forget to smash a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next vlog or video. Whichever one you watch first. Bye. <laughs>